What's up, everybody? It's Brian Adamson, a remote house flipper. I am here in Orlando at possibly a flip, but based on what I've seen so far, I don't know. I got to take y'all in and show you, all right? Apparently, at one point, they gutted this place out and they were starting to reframe it back up and drywall in certain areas. But I'm going to tell you, this is not safe. See how these beams are notched out? They're not tied into anything. You can see here, this header is sagging. I mean, this entire ceiling, I don't know if you can see this angle, but it's a dip right here in the ceiling as well. This is not structurally sound at all. It's really good to look at the bones and the structure of the house, okay? And so as I'm walking through, yeah, the electrical looks nice and they put new boxes and new wire, all of that looks good. But when I'm just looking at how these beams uh, which essentially they use two by fours are all tied into each other. Just none of it is done properly. None of it is done properly. And so in this instant, the first thing that I think is none of this has been permitted. Absolutely none of it has been permitted. And so with that being said, I'm going to have to go in and tear everything out. I'm going to have to go in and tear everything out, then get the proper permits and start from scratch. Now, the numbers on this property was like 155000 they wanted for the purchase ARV 210. So clearly, they way, way off the mark on this. I mean, I imagine that this extension is not permitted. I mean, the whole house is not permitted, right? And you can see from the cedar shake here in the back that this was the back of the house at one point. Okay, you can see that by this, the, the underlayment here as well. So, you know, when you're looking at opportunities, it's gotta be the risk worth reward. It's gotta make sense. It's gotta make financial sense. And it's all about time, quality, and cost, right? Those are the three main factors that'll make or break you in any scenario. When you look at the amount of time that it'll take to renovate this property, um, to, and then the quality that you'll need in order to garner the, the real ARB that you want, does it make sense? And to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. In this marketplace right now, I'm not sure if I would want to stay in a renovation this long. But... I got some good news for you guys that's been out there trying to figure out how to do these such things. How can you determine rehab costs as I did within a matter of minutes? All right, so listen, I got a big treat for you guys. I know many of you want to learn how to do exactly what I did and walk through that property within three minutes, figure out I had a $70,000 renovation. All right, and while we have constraints right now and with all the social distancing, et cetera, we can't all get together as we would typically do on our normal property field trips. We are bringing to you a virtual property field trip. Yes, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do all of this virtually. And then from there, you can pivot and start your remote investment company by way of wholesaling and fix and flip based on the strategies I'm going to teach you. All right, so there's limited spots available. Click the link, leave your information. Somebody from our team will contact you and get you signed up.